All right, I like to apologize for my slight absence. A lot of stuff has been going on. This is kind of chaotic, and it's kind of also going to go into next week. So don't expect me to put out more than one or two things. Um, I am going to be doing a something tomorrow for uh, Anthrax, a a member of the community. Um, so uh, I'm going to be trying to out something he suggested. Uh, it looks interesting, it looks quick. Um, but in the meantime, please hit the like button. Please think about subscribing if you're already. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. And this is my honest review for Vikings Valhalla Season 2, a Netflix drama, release date January 12th, 2023. Uh, 2023. Uh, number of episodes is 8. Uh, the time per episodes is 43 to 59 minutes. The program's creators and writers are Mitchell Hurst and Jeb Stewart. And here's some of the cast. All right, welcome back. Here is the plot a summary of the plot for the second season. Our heroes Leif, Harold, and Freydis find themselves yet again on a very different path after the fall of Catacat. So if you remember when I reviewed the first season, I had plenty of issues but also had stuff I loved about it. But it came down to the writing. Because all of that, uh, all of that, I thought it was below average and gave it a three or three and a half out of five. Just my opinion. Uh, the writing was so much better in this season though than the first. Uh, a nitpick of the se season one was how bad the CGI was. Uh, this time it was way better around. Um, I really liked the writing around Leaf and Harold this time around as well. Even though their story was a little boring in the second half, but still, I found myself enjoying it. Um, just made more of, not what I'm used to when it comes to this type of, of uh, uh, stories, um, theme-wise. Uh, Freitas had a good story. To be honest, I wasn't a fan at, the, at it at the first part, but... Her story definitely got very interesting and was very was easily the best part of the season. Personally, still didn't care for Queen Emma or Earl Goldman, uh, Goldwyn, uh, story-wise, uh, just like in the first season. Uh, acting was way better with the actress that plays Queen Emma, and I believe I cr criticized her acting in the first one, but I don't remember. But I put that anyways because her, her acting was definitely... Better and I didn't really see any acting at all that was bad. It was just more of the characters of, of uh, story that I felt wasn't needed, at least right in the second season or in general as of right now. Uh, with Vikings, the series uh, original, they tend to focus way more on raiding with the Vikings and battles and stuff, and then they have a little bit of less focus on the British part and the other French and stuff, depending on the season. Overall, the, the, what, this was way better season, had plenty of powerful feeling in moments and plenty of spots, especially around Freitas. The actress did such a fantastic job. She sure, clearly they took a, the criticism from the fans and improved by a lot on the writing. But here's my rating. So Netflix renewed this series for two more seasons, including the second season and the third season, whenever that will come out. But at, at this point, I wouldn't hold my breath on getting more than three as of, as of Netflix has been at it once again with doing this thing where they start cutting down on, or, you know, on uh, popular series. Just cutting them out. But uh, I don't want to get into a rant, but, uh, yeah, it's just kind of been coming back to where they're doing that for some stupid reason. 
But, let me know what you think in the comments below of this series. Do you think Season 2 is better than 1? Did you even like, or did you think oh, uh, Season 1 was okay? Let me know all your thoughts on below. Now, uh, last time I, I did this season, this season, I got a lot of, how do I put this? Hate towards the series and a lot of people complaining about a specific thing you know woke and all that stuff and i'm not going to go any further because i really don't care but it's just like one of those two two things i did last year that i had to make a, announce a video about and stuff so um really don't want to hear about that stuff when i say i want to hear about your opinion i want to actual actual positive and, and constructive criticism when it comes to the first season and the second season of, of this or any series or movie in general moving forward so but remember i love you all please stay safe and skull